flaking, the oozing. I wasn't able to urinate, couldn't shower. I had to go to the hospital because I couldn't use the toilet. Destroying me emotionally, physically and mentally. All the time you're told this is in your head is the definition of gaslighting. This has ruined my life, completely ruined it. Topical steroid withdrawal looks a bit like this and it's thought millions of people could be affected by it. Steroids like these are prescribed by doctors for people who have skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema. More than 8 million people in the UK suffer from eczema alone and over 10 million tubes of these products are prescribed a year but despite that neither the NHS nor the World Health Organization record data on topical steroid withdrawal. So as a result it's impossible to know exactly how many people are suffering from it. TikTok has become home to sufferers of the condition who've shared their experiences. Many said it was the only place they could reach out for proper help. And now hashtag TSW has passed more than a billion views. No one's believing me that these creams are making it worse than someone said topical steroid withdrawal. And it's so cheesy, but thank God for TikTok because they have truly saved me. This could have been so much worse. Steroids can be prescribed by a GP or some bought over the counter. They're often applied through a spray, cream or moisturiser to the affected area under the advice and guidance of a GP or pharmacist. This started with a piece of dry skin like that big. So once the doctors prescribed hydrocortisone, it worked and then it came back. So I went back, got given more hydrocortisone, it went and it came back worse and worse. And eventually after about three, four months, oh, you would I just was like, I'm done. The MHRA, that's the group that regulates and monitors the medicines we use, told us, Topical steroid withdrawal can occur after at least daily use of a steroid for more than two years. In 2021, a review said steroid products should be updated to explain some of the risks, but overall they were deemed to be safe, safe and, and effective. effective. Organisations like the National Eczema Society want the MHRA to go further. They want clearer strength labelling about how strong a product is, a bit like SPF on sun cream. And people we've spoken to want topical steroid withdrawal to be officially recognised, to warn others about some of the serious consequences that can snowball from just a small piece of skin.